One month after World War II broke out in the UK on October 1939, the Ministry of Food launched its Dig for Victory campaign, led by Professor John Rayburn. <clears throat> the campaign's aim was to bring the population together to produce as much food as possible, to become more self-sustainable as a country in fear of a shortage of food, and with good reason. 728,000 tonnes of imported food headed for Britain were sunk by German submarines by the end of 1940. Whatever could be used as an allotment was. Parks, road verges, golf courses, even public gardens such as Kensington Garden dug up its flowers and planted rows of cabbages and carrots. The Victory Garden campaign was very successful and it even produced a glut of carrots in the UK. Flight Lieutenant John Cunningham, who was a fighter pilot for the RAF, was given the nickname Cat Eyes due to him shooting down the most German fighter pilots at night. The reason for the nickname and his skill? was put down to his love of carrots. It is not clear who put the rumour out there, whether it be the Air Ministry or the Ministry of Food, but it potentially helped in a few different ways. It made the British public think that it would help them see better in the blackouts. Thus, carrot consumption went up, getting rid of the glut of carrots and taking the strain off of other foods. It also may have put doubts into German fighter pilots' minds that British fighter pilots were carrot fueled masters of the night sky. In reality, it was the new use of radar technology which helped locate the German bombers at night, and not super carrot vision. Germany also had radar technology, though perhaps didn't realise quite how useful it could be until later on in the war. So, although the carrot myth might not have fooled them, there was so much misinformation being passed around, it was hard to know the truth. There is, however, some truth to the myth. Carrots contain a lot of B-carotene, which is where they get their bright orange colour. The body converts the B-carotene into vitamin A, also called retinol. It is important that we have vitamin A in our diet, as it does indeed keep our eyes healthy. The earliest signs of a vitamin A deficiency is called night blindness, where you would find it increasingly difficult to see in low light situations. If the deficiency is continued, you could go blind altogether. That being said, we do not need much vitamin A in our diet. Too much can cause liver problems, amongst other things, and if you eat too many carrots, your skin can in fact turn orange for a while. So, in summary, carrots do help keep our eyes healthy, and we do need the vitamin A it provides for vision, but it doesn't, unfortunately, grant the power of sight in the dark. Thanks for watching.